Hi and welcome to Elements channel. Today we're going to find common factors. Before we go ahead, thank you for liking and subscribing our channel. Do keep showering your love. So let's begin with our first question today. My first question is list the factors of. So my first question or my number are 16 and 48. First we'll find for 16. In order to find the factors, apparently they mean is in which table does 16 come? I repeat, finding factors is in which table does 16 come or apparently in which tables. So we're going to find common factors. In order to find the common factors, first we need to find the individual factors. So one times table, but of course, because one times 16 is 16, then I'll switch to my second, uh, two times table, that is two times eight is 16. Then three times table, we know three times five is 15, so 16 doesn't come. Four times four is 16. So you need to be very good at your math with this. Five times table, it's an even number, we won't have it. Six times table, 16 doesn't come. Seven times two is 14. Eight times two is 16. We know about that. Now therefore, since eight times two is 16, and it's a double of eight, after that, it's directly in the 16 times table, that 16 comes. Let's go to our second number to find the factors. So I have 48. Again, my universal one, 1 times 48 is one, 48. In my 2 times table, this is even. Therefore, I will have 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8. So even in 2 times table, my 48 is very much existing. Now we'll check whether if it comes in 3 times table, same thing I will do. I will check if in case my 48 comes in 3 times table. So 48 divided by 3. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 1 is 3, 1 carry over, 3 times 6 is 18. So yes, it comes in 3 times table as well, therefore I will write 3. 4 times, we know that 4 times 12 is 48, therefore I will write my 4 here. After this, I will see my 5, but of course this is an even number, so it won't come. We know the trick 5 times table is when we have the number ending with 5 or 0. Now 6 times table we have 48, therefore I will write my 6. Then we have my 7 times table. So 7 times table, we know 7 times 7 is 49. Therefore we can't have it in 7 times table. 8 times, yes, 8 times 6 is 48, right? Now 9 times table we don't have, 10, 11 times 4 is 44, we know. 12 times again because 4 times 12 is 48 so 12 times 4 is 48 as well we are aware of that now 15 again not possible 16 yes i will have it 17 no 24 yes why because it is half of it so double of 24 is 48 and finally it will come in my 48 times table this is how i found my factors now we'll cater to the question which says finding common factors common factors means we have the same number coming for both of the number so i have my one which is common between between 6 and 48 my two which is common we see three there is no three so i will leave it Four, yes, it is there. So I will have my four as well, right? In both of them, it comes. After that, then I have my eight. Yes, I have my eight common as well. So I will put it. Do I have six here? No. Do I have 12? No. But yes, I have my 16, which is very much common. I will circle that as well. You have to try and keep a check that both the numbers are same in order to do, do that you might underline or circle like i'm doing so it can stand out and it's easy for you to list out them later therefore common factors of 16 and 
48R1, okay? Then I have 2, I have 4, 8, and finally I have my 16. So this is how we find the common factors. Let's take one more example. My next number are 26 and 54. So to begin with, first and foremost, I will start looking for the factors individually. Therefore, I will start with 26. Same exercise we begin. In my one time table, I will have, yes, two times table because it ends with it. That is my even. Three times table, let's check if it comes. Three times one is three. Three times 26 is not possible. Three times five is 15. Three times six is 18. Three times seven is 21. Three times eight is 24. So it will not come in three times table. Then I have my four. Four times six is 24. Five not possible. Again, six times four is 24. 7 times table, no 26 comes. 8 times table, 24 is there. This is how we keep recalling our tables. And finally, I will get is my 13. That is half of 26. And when I double it, I get 26. Next number that I have is 54. 1 of course, 2 of course, because it ends with even number. In 3 times table, let's check if 54 comes. So 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 1 is 3, 2 carry, 3 times 6 is 24, yes 54 comes in 3 times table. Then I have 4, so 54 in 4 times table, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 1 is 4, 1 carry, no 14 doesn't come. Therefore then I have my 5, not possible, for 6 let's check, 54 divided by 6. 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 9 is 54, therefore I have my 6 and since 6 times 9 is 54, 9 times 6 is also 54, we know that and then I have my 10, 11 times 2 is 22, 13, no 14, no 15 has 60, 16, no 17, 18 will come, yes, 18 times table we have our 54 coming, then we have our 27, yes, and since we know 27 times 2 is 54, finally it will come in 54 times table. So let's go ahead with finding the common factors. In order to find that, like I did in my previous example, I will do the same here. So I will circle my common factors. 1 and 1 are common. 2 and 2 are common. Is 13 here? No. Is 26 here? No. Therefore, common factors of 26 and 54 are 1 and 2. I hope that helped to reiterate again. First we find the factors of the number that is in which table that number comes. After finding the factors for both the common both of them Coming in that number is what we circle or you may underline as you like it. And finally, then the number which outstands, that is the common number that are existing between both the numbers are going to determine our common factors. Thank you.